morning YouTube. I spent yesterday organizing my tools and stuff that I have here in the garage and I wanted to show you guys this new machinist time tool chest that I got from Amazon in the UK for about £70 as well as this stainless steel wheel table or wagon that I got from um, Expando here in Europe. This one was about 120 euro, I think. So if you are new to my channel, I am performing my little hobby here in my grandparents' garage and I'm super happy for being able to, to borrow it. But I don't have a lot of um, space here to, to storage my stuff. So basically I have one, two, three, four shelves in here. And before I got the tool chest, I stored all the anvils and the collets and stuff like that in here. And it was kind of a mess. So yeah, huge improvement to being able to put like um, small animals and stuff like that into these drawers here and it's it's also very easy to to see which type of animals that I have to, to get uh, an overview for example I thought that I had a lot of ball nose animals but when I placed all all those animals here in the drawer you clearly see that they didn't have too many of them so very good to being able to to get a quick overview of what I got so in this one I got some some mixed ones some thread cutting animals some camphor camphoring animals and some doe tail cutters pretty small one thought that I will try these small ones on the router but I think the RPM is, is a bit too high. Here I have some, some drills and lathe tooling, micrometer, some, some pipe fittings or tube fittings for the water cooling on the router. These large ones I stored my collets year 16 and 11 and 20 and doesn't look too well organized. I think I will mill out some kind of stand for them so I can get rid of these yellow boxes. And down here I have some measurement stuff, some vital indicators and my gauge blocks and stuff like that. Just top one here is a bit deeper so basically I took everything that wouldn't fit in these smaller drawers and put this one so here we have the BD30 tooling for the manual mill and some Morse taper tooling for lathe project some very large detail cutters that I hope being able to put to use pretty soon. I'm really looking forward to try to cut some some details on the manual mill when it's finished. So feels like it's pretty good quality actually. These ones seem to, to lock pretty secure and the handle also feels pretty heavy duty. The only bad thing uh, is that this one here is a bit loose so I will remove this one and, and simply put some glue in, in here between so not the end of the world so this is how it looks locked and some keys were included as well so yeah, super happy with this one. Wasn't easy to find a wooden one here in Europe. Um, so yeah, kind of the purpose of this video is, is to, to help Europeans out a bit 
to find a wooden toolbox. I believe that the, the wooden ones are pretty common in, in the US. At least I, I found some on, U, on um, eBay, but uh, shipping is pretty expensive to Europe from the States. So concerning this um, stainless steel wagon here, I ordered it simply because I wanted these uh, welded trays here to run some flood coolant. So the plan is to put one tray here on the router table. The dimension, dimensions are so that uh, she should fit right on the millimeter between the gantry and length should be um, on the millimeter almost as well. So hopefully that will help me to collect the chips a bit easier and also being able to, to use some flood coolant. The sides here on the tray are pretty high and very nice that uh, that it's made out of stainless. If I were to have uh, walked into some welding company here, I believe that uh, they would easily charge me 200 bucks for making a stainless steel tray like this one. If you have any ideas what, what uh, a welder would charge, please leave a comment. It would be interesting to know. I believe that uh, the cost for these trays here are about 50 bucks each. And uh, yeah, but I am using using it now for some tool storage and it's working super fine. So that might be a good tip for anyone looking for a wheel table to have in the garage, even though it is intended to use in restaurant kitchens for storing uh, dish. And the wheels look pretty okay as well. I believe that they have ball bearings and it's possible to, to lock them as well. Um, yeah, that is pretty much it. I will try out some scraping now, try to get the, the router together and um, I thought that uh, I will mill out an adapter plate for the manual mill project during uh, the scraping. Plan is to make this one out of cast iron when the router is uh, improved. <laughs>